put one in your shop or put one outside your shop. Whoa, look at that. Hmm, looks familiar. Very nice. Can't wait to see this thing on the on the bay. Everybody, Chad Snitch, Top Down USA. Uh, I hope you know who I am. Super Mario Diagnostics. We're at Top Down at SEMA. It's the first time I've ever been out here. First time in Vegas, first time at SEMA. Booth 38221. And it's been nuts. I've been trying to get as many people as possible to come talk to me. And I, I finally nailed this guy down. We, we, it, we, got, we got a lot him. going on. Yeah. It, we so Top Don's at two booths. We got Apex and oh, SEMA. Right, yeah. So we're going back and forth. So we're trying to get to as many people. We want you guys to stop in the booth and visit us because we got a lot of good stuff going on. Tell us what's coming. I, I see something here already, and I, I'm pretty excited. Well, I made a review. If you guys remember, I made a review video on this one a while back, and it looks like there's more on the way. So. So the T90,000 is, and you've used it a bunch, this is a stable power supply to be able to produce 90 amps when yep. you're doing programming or automotive diagnostics in any sense. But this guy right here, this is the next iteration of it. So this is going to be a 100 amp unit, but it has something a little bit different going on up here at the top. I see. So this has our R-Link built into it. So this is a, a VCI that gives us the ability to do programming, J2534, with the power supply all built into one. So now you can use this as a J box and do your uh, do your power supply all in one unit. You'll notice that the OBD2 comes out here. So that's what plugs into the car side. And then we will power off of the car. So one of the big things about this, and we took your guys' feedback on what we needed to do to update this, have a removable cord. So the power cord yes. can be swapped out. But also on this end, we have the ability to have an Anderson connector so your leads can be unplugged from it as well. So if you're doing mobile diagnostics or if you're in a shop, instead of having to wrap it around the cord or build a cart like you have, Mario, yeah. you can have this where you can disconnect it and then put it off to the side. So this is the next iteration, J2534 and power supply built into one box. Now, are you guys doing this to kind of push the need for whenever you connect to a car, just have a maintainer already? Oh, absolutely. So think about anything we do key on engine off diagnostics. Right. If, if you're doing this for an extended period of time and then all of a sudden you go, yes, I found it, 11 and a half volts. <laughs> and then you start throwing parts of the car and it was all the battery the whole time. Yeah, Yeah. So nobody likes that. Our, our opinion is you're doing ADOS calibration, you're doing uh, alignment, you're doing anything key on engine off, you need to have some sort of power supply on that vehicle to make sure that your diagnostics right the first time. Nice. We've seen a lot of the videos that you've done on thermal imaging and how you use it for uh, power draws and how you can mm. set a car up for overnight, come in the next morning and use thermal imaging for that. And the traditional side of thermal imaging has always been the gun style. Sure. And the gun style is fantastic if that's the form factor that you want to use. Yeah. But this one here, this is a TC003. This one actually is more of the size of a cell phone and it has the thermal imaging built into it. Nice. With this TC003, we also have dual camera. So you have the thermal camera and the image camera so you can do your overlays on one unit. Now that one is at that 539 price point. For what you're getting, super aggressive price point. But maybe we want something a little bit more on the price point friendly side. We have the ones that can plug into your phone as well. That's gonna be on the other side here. Sure. Oh. So these are going to be on Android and this one is iOS. And that good looking guy right there, you can see how clear the image is on a phone based app. And the Android one, you're looking at 230. On iOS, you're looking at 240 to get that kind of clarity. So uh, just another tool in your toolbox to be able to use for anything, electrical diagnostics, exhaust, brakes, wheel bearings, oh, yeah. tire no, leaks. It's, it's limited to our creativity. I've been Absolutely. using thermal imaging extensively and I think with all these tools, you are limited by your creativity. We should just keep exploring this stuff because uh, it's, it's, it's crazy what you can do with these things. One of the cool things about the app-based tool and even the, the 003 that we talked about is the ability to have a targeted point. So let's say that we want to see a specific point of heat. We can put that mark on there and it will show multiple points of heat. So if we have this mounted and we're trying to watch exhaust manifold temperatures, right. we can monitor multiple points of heat as we go across. It's always gonna show the hottest and coldest on there, 
but we can add multiple points to it as well. Nice. So very powerful for the price point. This one here is new. This one is also um, built off of our top scan platform. This is top scan moto. So to be able to diagnose and work on our motorcycles and off-road vehicles. So this is specifically for Harley, Indian, BMW, Ducati, and Bombardier at this time. We do have adapter cables that are going to be specific for each application as well. Mm -hmm. So this one is gonna be for BMW motorcycles. We have Polaris there. So using your top scan, we're gonna be able to just add a software and a cable to be able to plug into your motorcycle so you can nice. do diagnostics on those as well. So you don't even have to have the actual like top scan moto. Nope, just a normal top scan. Will uh, will add software to it to be able to add moto. Yep. Now, if you have if you buy the moto, can you get, get automotive on there? Yes, with a, a software addition, you can do automotive on it as well. Nice, yep, back and nice. forth. So, and we just keep expanding on that platform, giving you the power of diagnostics on your phone. So, these are our TechView glasses, and I'm sure that you see this all the time. If someone calls you up and asks you for help, oh, and yeah. you ask for very specific questions of, tell me what you see, and did you do this, and did you do that, and they are 100% honest with you every time, right? <laughs> right. Right, yeah. so, so what the TechView glasses give us the ability to do is the technician that may need support or is learning, we can put the TechView glasses on and that gives them a camera on the side of the glasses and then you as a support can support them and see exactly what they see. Right. But also, the tool comes with a display so you can send information to them as well. Right. So imagine this for a multi-shop operation. You have 200 locations, but you have five mobile techs that are walk, going around and trying to help and train and do programming and such. This gives them the ability to not have to drive to hold their hand. Hey, put your glasses on. Now I can see what you see. Let's go through this diagnostic procedure. Nice. Or if, if you're a person that, uh, for some strange reason, likes working on BMWs and <laughs> Just a guess. Um, Life's working on BMWs, but your your technician on the other side of town doesn't know how to do it. Right. You can walk them through that process. You can be the subject matter expert, help them through that process, teach them and train them at the same time. So our TechView glasses are coming out in early 2024. And on the glasses, we not only have a camera here, but also there's a microphone and speaker. So you can communicate with them. Now their hands are free to be able to do the process Think about this for in like an ADOS calibration. Now you're looking through a lens of a camera and you may be able to see the same things that the ADOS camera is seeing, where a board is washed out, or if we have light coming in from another way, or if the light stream is going right down the camera. Right. So it's a secondary way to be able to support um, our technicians, your technicians, or a multiple shore operation well, with the TechView glasses. And that is an independent tool, but it can also work with any of our Phoenix lines. That was well. gonna be my next question. Yes. It seemed like the perfect thing to do. Just put it on a scan tool, right? Yeah, so um, we can, it does come as a standalone and that's the way you would buy it, but also it has the ability uh, in the future to be able to plug that USB-C in directly to the scan tool. And that's gonna be your power supply and your communication. Nice. Um, from that device, we can place orders as far as tech support orders uh, can be done from that as well as far as uh, programming orders as well. We've been in the uh, EV market for about a year and a half to be able to give charging supply to our EV cars. And when we think about the shop experience, we wanna be able to work on more EVs in the shop as well. So having an EV charger in the shop or outside the shop can attract those kind of cars. So we have multiple versions now. We have a 40 amp that you've had in your videos in the past. So make sure you check that out in the link in the description below. You're welcome. <laughs> um, we have a 32 amp that's coming out now and we have our new portable version that's coming out. So the portable version is going to be a 32 amp or a, a 16 amp, 110 or 220. Wow. And then we have expanded that to solve some issues as well that homeowners have, because this is a homeowner product as well as a shop. So homeowners have found the challenge of, okay, I have a dryer in my garage and that's my 220 plug, but I don't want to unplug my dryer to plug in my EV charger to charge my car. So we have come out with this box here. This is a splitter box. Whoa. So this has your NEMA 1450 plug that would go into the wall. And then it has a plug on both sides. So we can plug this into our dryer outlet or our welder outlet in the garage. Right. And there's a primary and a secondary. So the primary, when the dryer is on or you're running your EV car uh, for charging, it'll go to the primary first. Once that's done charging or done using that power, it'll go to the secondary side. 
Oh, so, okay. It's not simultaneous. It's, it's not just... simultaneous. But so even if I have two EV cars in my garage, I can plug this in. If this side of the EV is only consuming 20 amps, it will divert the other 20 amps or 30 amps to the other side. Nice. So it can do simultaneous. It's smart enough to switch back and forth to be able to consume the complete 30 or 50 amps, depending on which one you get. And like I said, if the dryer's running, it will stop charging the EV. When the dryer's done, it'll full charge the EV. Wow. So you can do two EVs, you can do a dryer and an EV, multiple options when it comes to that splitter box. Nice. And then we have the connectors to go both ways. We have it to go from a Tesla to a J1772 or from a J1772 to a Tesla. So if you're already a Tesla owner and you buy something else, we have the adapters, but also those adapters work with the chargers as well. So we're focused on the shop side, being able to support the shop to be able to charge those EVs, but also the homeowner that has them at home with the other options as far as being portable as well. Awesome, man. Now I saw another thing on the other side of this wall. Can we talk about that? Oh, that little thing? Yeah, that's <laughs> yeah that little thing. So the question always is, how fast can you charge my car? So when we have an AC, to DC back to AC charger, you have limitations on what you can do when it comes to a household charger. So this is going to be a DC to DC fast charge. And this one is going to be what you would see out in front of a business, in front of a car wash, or a, a, in a, a business area to be able to fast charge your EV. So this is going to be a, a CCS1 connector. And this specific charging station gives us the ability to do multiple variations of charging speed. So if someone wants to install this, they can uh, go for a budget friendly and have only 120 kilowatt hour charging all the way up to 450 kilowatt hour charging. Wow. So this has the ability to add more charge packs to it to be able to ramp up that charging speed. We can do CCS1, we can do Tesla ports out of these. Sorry, not Tesla ports, NACS, North American Charging Standard. So we can do either or charging on that. It has the ability to do select your pay and uh, you can charge people to, to charge at your, at your location. So we're getting not only everything down to the portable to a 16 amp, all the way up to 450 uh, kilowatt charging stations now. Wow, and this is already rolled out in production? This is our first prototype, so we'll be ready for production early 2024. Nice, well, thank you for your time. I really Absolutely. appreciate it. Mario, thank you. Thank you.